The video review will start in a few seconds, but if you're watching this on YouTube, remember if you have a question, comment, or suggestion for me, you can post it on 3dgameman.com and the link is provided below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Silverstone Argon AR03 CPU cooler. A pretty blue box with lots, and I do mean lots of pictures, as well as features and specifications about it. And this box does have one security seal. Let me cut that and let's see what's inside. Included is a user's manual, brackets and clips for mounting it on the socket. These are mounts for installing the fan on the heat sink, screws, thermal compound. They include a 120 millimeter fan and here's the heat sink. Now let's have a closer look. Now let me first go through the features and specifications and then I'll have a closer look at it. This heatsink fits just about every current Intel and AMD socket on the planet. It comes with six six millimeter heat pipes and these are copper. The fins, by the way, are aluminum and there are lots and lots of them. They include a sleeve bearing fan. The noise level on this is between 16 to 35 decibels approximately. It's 12 volt. It starts though at 7 volt. The airflow of the CFMs is between 37 to 81. The speed ranges from 1000 to 2200 RPMs. The life expectancy in hours is 40,000 and this is a 120 by 120 by 25 millimeter fan so a standard fan the heatsink weighs in at 560 grams that is without the fan and it measures 140 by 50 by 159 millimeters and that is again without the fan and note how each blade has these three grooves in them this should allow the fan to be a little bit quieter and cut through the air a little bit better than your traditional fan. Now this is a PWM fan or pulse width modulation fan that comes with nine blades. Note the sleeving on the power cable and the four pin connector. As I mentioned before there are lots of aluminum fins and six six millimeter heat pipes which converge here at the bottom. Of course this is what would come in direct contact with the CPU. Now the fancy term for heat pipes contacting the CPU is heat pipe direct contact technology or HDC and it's something that most CPU coolers have have these days and it makes sense really because prior to this the heat pipes would kind of like go into the base plate and then the base plate would come in direct contact with the CPU but in fact it's better to have the heat pipes in direct contact with the CPU because then it will draw away the heat from the CPU up into the mini fins and of course then the fan or fans can dissipate the heat. The overall build quality, design and styling on this heat sink is top notch and by the way there is no branding on this at all. And at the top you can see where all of these heat sinks terminate. They only include one fan but you can very easily install another one if you want better performance and thankfully they include eight of these rubber fan mounts. And four get installed on either side of the heat sink and all you need to do is push them in like so and then you simply fit them through the hole in the fan and pull until they are fitted. Now you can do this another way. You can just attach the rubber fan mounts to the fan first and then attach everything to the heatsink. Finally have a listen to the fan at full speed. Now there are actually three CPU coolers in the Argon series, the AR01, AR02, and this one, the AR03. So depending upon your application, choose the one that is best for you. Now on the Intel side of things, the AR01 and the AR02 are best for the Intel LGA 1155, 1156, and 775, but the AR03 is best suited for the LGA 2011 or the 1366. Now to sum things up, the AR03 
3 is an excellent overall CPU cooler. It is affordable, performs really well, and you can add another fan to it. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.